I'm going to talk to you briefly today about the math that I would like to try to get out there for folks. I've been aware for a long time how many of my students have trouble with the very basic sort of mathematics. And uh, to be honest with you, as a student, I did as well. And even after I had gone all the way through differential equations, I, I didn't realize where the basic problem was. And many of you may argue with me on this, but try to stay with me. I believe the basic problem is we can't do numbers in our heads. The first mistake they made in school was to put a pencil and a piece of paper in front of us. And that's what I'm getting rid of. And I'm using a deck of cards. I've removed the face cards and the aces. Uh, and we'll also talk about a little game that you can play with cards. I'm not promoting gambling parents, so please don't worry about that. Um, I learned at a blackjack table in Las Vegas that I couldn't add simple numbers in my head. And that environment, they don't have time for you to count on your fingers or put it on a piece of paper or play with your calculator. So what I want you to do is, if you don't want to use playing cards, just get uh, uh, some other cards or make your own. Okay, what's 6 and 8? Well, 8 and 2 are 10, that leaves 14. You don't have time to do that. I want you to get where you can look at that and say 14. 10 and 10, of course, 20. 9 and anything is going to be 1 less than this number. 9 and 8 is 17. Now, I know many of you are looking at this going, this guy's crazy, and you may be right. But the problem is so bad. Everywhere I've taught, uh, that somebody's got to do something, and this is what I'm doing. All right, that's still not correct. Still not where I want it. I'm sorry about the focus today, guys. It's the cards are the thing is just not giving me what it's supposed to, and I'm having trouble with the focus. Let's try something different then. Maybe this will help. Now I've got to play with the light. I wanted to do it on the bar dark background. All right, sorry about that. That's look, that may have to do. Three and two are five. Three and four are seven. Seven and four. Oh, what's that? Well, seven and three are ten. One must be eleven. Seven and four are eleven. You can write this down. Make yourself a chart if you want to. And memorize these 15, 11, 12, 11, on and on, just like this. All right? So you can do this effortlessly, without any effort at all. The number just pops up in your mind. All right? Now, what I'm going to do is put the deck back together. And since this is not a class on how to shuffle cards, I'll just do it as best I can. And I never was much of a card shuffler anyway, so that works out real easy for me. You can play this by yourself, or you can get an accomplice, somebody to play with you. The game is called 21, similar to blackjack, but uh, much simpler to play, and nobody goes home broke. Give your opponent a card, whoops, and yourself a card. That's 12, that's 15. That's 19. This could be 11 or one. If it's 11, you'll go over 21, so let's make it 16. We're going to stop at 19, uh, it's 16, oops, that's 26, you lost, okay? See how this is played? 
and you can have variations on it you can hide one your first card if you want to so nobody but you knows what it is and this is a harmless game um, if you get bored of just counting cards in my next video I'll get the pencil and paper back out and we'll go with that and start on some very basic algebra but right now I want you adding numbers in your head tell yourself I'm good at math because I can add numbers in my head something so simple as believing you can do it will make all the difference in the world fast as you can throw them down add them up I've done this with students as young as 10 years old that were having incredible problems in school and I've done it with adults. All right? We'll see you on the next video.